All right, so <coughs> the previous video we looked at uh, uh, just set theory, uh, so the set laws. Now let's see how we can prove some of them. This is just part one. We'll break it down into parts. The first question says prove the following. Uh, prove that A union A is equal to A. Now this is the, the, the best way to prove it and the correct way. So we are, we are going to let a certain number or variable be, be a member of that. So I'm going to say let, go to say let x be a member of A union what? A. Now, if x is a member of A union A, this means x is a member of A, or member union means O, or x is a member of what? A. Now, you know that what is here and here is the same and is common. Therefore, x is a member of A. Hence, A union what? A is equal to A. But B, prove that A intersect A is equal to A. How can you show that? I'm going to select X be a member of A intersect A. Now, if X is a member of A intersect A, this means X is a member of A and X is a member of A. This means, because that what is here is common, this means just X is just a member of A. Hence, A intersect A is equal to A. Okay, let's go to commutative laws. How can you prove this? Now, with this, we are going to be proving both sides. So, I'm going to use these arrows. You can use this arrow, double arrows, or you can use, you can just say, the left hand side. Okay. This is the left hand side. So, let's go. So, we're going to select X be a member of A union B. This means X is a member of A or X is a member of what B. Remember this can just be interchanged, right? This means X is a member of B or X is a member of A. Just the same. Therefore, X is a member of B union A. And I want to conclude that at this particular stage, they are not equal, but they are uh, one of them is a subset of the other. So I'm going to say, therefore, A union B is a subset of B union A. Once we are done with that one, we go to the right hand side. Let's go to the right hand side. Right hand side. So on the right hand side, we have let X be a member of B union A. We need to put both sides that they are equal. Right. Therefore, this, this means that X is a member of B or X is a member of A. Now, this can also be interchanged because it's all here. It's, a, it's like addition. It's commutative. That's what, these are commutative laws. Therefore, X is a member of A or X is a member of B. This is just the same as X is a member of A union B. Okay, so that is equal to the left hand side. Therefore, we are going to conclude. So, you say hence. So, hence. Hence A. Sorry. Hence B union A is a subset of A union B. Then you conclude. Therefore, A union B is equal to B union A. Only after you do both sides, that's when you can say that this is actually equal to that. You cannot just prove one side and be confident that, okay, you need to do both sides, the left side and the right side. Then you conclude as that. Let's look at another question. So we are still on commutative laws until we are done. So how do we prove this one that is equal to this? Also this one will be done in three steps. We prove both sides, then conclude. So, let's first prove the, the left hand side that is equal to the right hand side. Now, how, what are we going to say? We are going to say let 
x be a member of a intersect b by doing this we are saying x is a member of a and x is a member of b. so where there is intersection you use and where there is or you use union hope i'm clear on that one now this just this can be interchanged this can be taken as x is a member of b and x is a member of what a with this just the same as x is a member of b intersectivity a hence a intersect b is a subset of b intersect a let's prove the right hand side right hand side right hand side we will say let x be a member of b intersect a then you say if that is the case then x is a member of b it is also a member of a okay then this can be interchanged because this is same as a inters a member of x a member of a and x being a member of b if that's the case then x is a member of a intersect b and we we'll say we we'll summarize by saying hence um, B intersect A is a subset of A intersect B. Then we conclude, therefore, therefore, A intersect B is equal to B intersect A. Only after showing that the right side is equal to the is uh, they are the subset of each other, then that's when we conclude. So for now, we'll end here. For part two is coming on other roads. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my Facebook page.